What's going on guys? G2 here, welcome back to the bench. And I've got another quick tip for you today. And this is on your takedown pins. So, uh, the takedown pins can be a challenge to get out if you need to replace them. You know, maybe a spring broke, detent broke, uh, it's rusted, maybe you got custom takedown pins and you want to flip them out maybe you got extended takedown pins whatever the case may be you need to switch them out it can be challenging the one up front the front forward takedown pin is not terribly difficult because it's set up for that there's a little hole here right and you can see if you just get a a pick or something and push it down in that hole you can depress the detent and pull the pin out just make sure that you are uh doing it slowly because you don't want to have that detent go flying everywhere and it will uh, so just be careful with that the tip i'm going to show you can work for both the forward and the rear just though know that the forward is set up typically with a little access hole here for you to get to but let's say you want to change the rear and you don't want to take your castle nut off maybe it's staked like this is and it's a, a huge pain in the butt to have to take everything off and redo it then you got to change your uh your rear sling plate all those things need to change so there's a way and it's actually documented in the um department of defense manual for the ar-15 uh, m16 on a little tool that you can make that will allow you to take this out without removing your buffer, your stock, or any of that. And it's a 1 16th Allen wrench. And all we did was on the back here, if you can see, we beveled that to a point. Okay? So let's zoom in here and I'm going to show you how we're going to utilize that to take down or take out and replace our takedown pin. Your takedown pins have a channel in them, and this channel right here is what the detent rides in and locks in the forward or rear position. Now, to test the Allen wrench, maybe you don't know how to measure 1 16th Allen wrench, what you want to do is be able to sit that Allen wrench and it should fit in that channel and move freely. So just find an Allen wrench that does that and you'll be able to do this little trick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our detent, we're gonna expose our channel, which is right back here. And you can see there's our detent. And what we're gonna do is simply slide this in to you know, push our detent back into our receiver. And how we're gonna do that is you don't want to have it in the locked position. You want to have it slightly forward because if it's in the locked position, it's going to be stuck in one of those notches and it's going to make this um, in, way more difficult. So put this in and just kind of rock the Allen wrench up and you'll feel that you're putting pressure on that detent. Okay, so we've got that in and then we're just going to rotate the whole assembly like so and that should move okay so if you can see this we've now rotated so that channel is facing this way so um, right now the pin is loose so if we turn the channel back facing this way we would lock the pin back in so now we're able to replace it so what I like to do is um, use an old uh, takedown pin and basically we're going to use it as a slave. So we're going to place that in and we're going to keep these two pins close together like so. And we're just going to, putting pressure on our forward here, we're going to push the one forward. Okay, and there we go. And now we have our slave pin in there. Just holding that detent in place. If you took it out, it's fine. 
the detent will just be exposed and you'll have to push it back in using this tool. I just like doing it this way because I think it makes it easier. And then all you need to do is, let's make sure that, okay. Get your new takedown pin, whatever it is. For us, our new one is our original. And we're gonna put it in. I. This is the correct way because that detent rides this way so it'll ride into the channel. That makes sense. So what I like to do is I put this facing the opposite way and using the same motion. Let's get this on camera here for you. We're just going to push this forward. And then we've got our old pin or our new pin back in. We remove our slave pin, so to speak, and we're gonna rotate this until you can see our channel is right there. As soon as we rotate this to the rear position, you'll hear a click, and we're locked back in. And that is how you can replace your rear takedown pin without removing any of your stock components. It's basically this guy right here, a 1 16th Allen wrench with a bevel on it. Just grind that in with your Dremel tool and uh, it takes about 30 seconds. Throw this, uh, this is an extra long one, but you could just as easily make a couple small ones. Throw that in your tool kit, throw it in your grip if you ever need to do something in the field. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. So, it, you know, just get it up. Make sure that when you're doing this, I guess the, the trick really is to not have this seated all the way in the locked position. Just kind of unlock it slightly. Put this in there. I like to push the whole thing down, just like that, right? So you know it's in. And just bring it up. When you have it up, just rotate the whole piece, and that's it. And you can see there, I went too far. So this is what would happen if you didn't have an opportunity to put that slave pin in there. You can see that D10 is now exposed, but it's not, you know, it's not hard. You just do the same thing. You have your old D10, or your old takedown pin. You have your new one, right? So... You have your old takedown pin. We have a replacement here. You just do the same thing. Put it in through the bottom. Push it up. And then using this, push the detent back into place. While pushing that old pin up to act as a slave pin. Okay? We just did it in one swoop the first time. Just to show you, I guess, the easiest way to do it. But mistakes will happen. And... You're going to mess up at least once. But the good thing about this one is you don't ever have to lose, worry about losing your detent because it's pretty hard for it to fly out of here. And then we're going to get our old one, channel facing forward, pushing forward on this, and we're just going to push it down and rotate. There's our channel, and we'll hear a click. That's it and replaced that easy so ladies and gentlemen that is it that's how easy it is to replace your takedown pin without having to disassemble your stock so don't be afraid go out there get those customized items make your rifle yours and it's really that easy if you didn't check out our video on how to easily replace your dust cover Without taking off your barrel nut, I'm going to link it for you right here. It's another easy one to do, save you a lot of time, and you can get that sweet little customized dust cover you've had your eyeball on for a while. So until next time, make sure that you're practicing safe weapon handling at all times, treating every weapon as if it was loaded. God bless America. G2 out.